What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reveal text in Final Cut Pro 10 using the mask option. It's very cool. It looks just like this. Let me go ahead and show you guys how it looks. So you just have this really cool effect there and it gives you that illusion that the text is behind the car when really it isn't and it's just masking the text as you can see there. And before we get started, I am doing a Q&A. So if you guys head over to my Instagram, comment down on my latest post and I'll try to answer you guys' questions on my next video. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. All right guys, so what you wanna go ahead and do first is have your video on the bottom, of course, and have your text right on top. And once you have your text, in this case, I'm using the Devil Breeze font. I'll leave the font in the description if you guys wanna download it. But uh, yeah, you wanna go ahead and add the text right on top of the video, okay? And you wanna place the uh, text right in front of the object, but just keep in mind that the more complicated the object is, in this case a person moving or whatever, the harder it is going to be to mask and you are going to have to do it frame by frame. So you want to go ahead and zoom into the timeline quite a bit. I'm going to push shift Z so you can see all of this and you're going to want to zoom in all the way as you can see till you see the uh, frames and you want to do that. Uh, if you don't, it's going to be very choppy and it's going to look not as smooth. So zoom in all the way and then once you have until you have the frames here just like this, you want to start it from the very beginning, put your text wherever you want. Now you can always start it right here and then it will just get rid of it. But I'm going to just start it right here just so I know where to start. So I'm going to add it right there. And in this case, the car is moving to the left. So we want our text to reveal on the right side and have the rest of the text go behind the car. Quote unquote, we really aren't hiding the uh, putting the text behind the car because that's virtually impossible. So we're going to have to mask it out. All right. So it's very simple. What you want to go ahead and do is once you have the text on there, of course, you want to go ahead and go over to the effects panel and just type in mask and you have the draw mask. You drag that on top of the text just like that. And then I'm going to close out of this and it says to click to add a control point and you have a pen tool. It's kind of like Photoshop in a way, but you want to go ahead and zoom in so you can see what you're doing. So I'm going to just go to 100% and you're going to have this little rectangle with this little uh, smaller rectangle. And this will allow you to move throughout the video, which is kind of cool. But what you want to go ahead and do is just click on the outside right here in the back of the car. So this is where the text is going to reveal. It's going to hide the rest of this text here and only, you know, select the back part of it. And it gives us that illusion that the text is behind the car when it really isn't. All we're doing is just hiding the text and masking it around this shape here. Or it could be a person. It can be an object. It can be whatever it is. Just keep in mind that the, the more complicated the object is, the more work you're going to have to put in. So you want to go ahead and just click right here. And I'm just going to make a very rough cut, okay? I'm going to just do four points. Also, keep in mind that you want to start in the very beginning of the video it's, uh, or wherever it starts. So right here is fine. And then you want to go ahead and select around this area. This is where the text is only going to show and not in the rest of the area. So I'm going to just go here, maybe like this and here like that is fine. So we have this. So now it gives it the illusion that the text is behind. Go to the inspector window and go to video and go under, under draw mask and select the text. From here, I want to go ahead and click this little down arrow and click under keyframes. Click add to add a keyframe. And this will add a keyframe to all of the four points we have. So now that we have that, we want to go ahead and feather this off just a little bit so it's not too, too rough. Okay. So I'm going to just feather it a little bit. Now it looks kind of like this. And it makes it longer because it needs to fade. It needs to feather to the rest of the text. So that's okay. And then the fall off, we're going to go uh, all the way to the left. And then you could, of course, go in and tweak it some more if you want. But I'm not going to just because this is very basic. Now the shape, if the object is round, you want to go ahead and change that to, to smooth. And that will allow you to kind of give you a curve. And that's what you want to do. But in this case, we don't really need that just because... The car isn't too curvy, if that makes any sense. If it was on the top, that's where we would have to change it. But in this case, we're not. So we want to go ahead and move the keyframe a little bit to the front. In this case, the car moves to the left. So we have to move the keyframes to the left as well. And so I'm going to move it just like that as close as you can. Uh, just around the car. Now you're going to notice that the text is more into the car. It's closer to the car and that's because we have the feather on. But that's that's okay. That's what we want. So we want to move it a little bit more and we want to drag the keyframes to the left and you want to do that as well. So you're going to be doing this a lot but keep in mind that it's going to turn out very very cool and it's going to look awesome in the end. So now if we kind of push play you're going to see how it looks like. So we have this right here. It's not that much just because we barely started. 
but uh, you want to go ahead and just keep going. So in this case, it's just a tutorial, so I'm not going to spend all my day here and finish this off. It's very rough just because we started. We have kind of all of this to re until it reveals the text, as you can see, if you click on one. So that's all we're pretty much doing, guys. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up just so you guys can see how it looks like and uh, how long, I guess, it will take. So I will come back once I am finished. All right, guys, so I am finished with the actual result, and this is what we have here. You can see all the keyframes are following the car. So if you go ahead and push play, this is what you have here, and it looks very smooth just because we added the feather, so it makes it look more realistic. And if you push play one more time, you get that really nice, smooth text reveal. So if you guys found this video helpful in any way, please, please leave a rating below. That'll be much appreciated. Comment down what you guys want to see next. So uh, yeah, I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.